Hello world, my name is Lydia and thank you very much for clicking on this video today. As you probably know by now, OB43, the new patch has come to Paladins. It's on the PTS today, which is Monday, and it should be released to the live servers on Wednesday. So in this video, we're just going to go over briefly the patch notes, detail some of the changes that are coming, and how it's going to affect you and your gameplay. All right, so let's dig into these patch notes. Um, we've got a new champion coming, which is really impressive that they're releasing uh, they've released Torvald just one patch ago, and now they're releasing Maeve. Um, they're kind of keeping up with their schedule of how they want to release champions throughout the year, so I'm really glad that they're bringing some on. I wish there may have been another week of Torvald, that way people can kind of get eased into having a new champion. But I'm really excited for Maeve, so let's look at her abilities. Uh, her left mouse button is daggers. It throws two daggers every second that deals 450 damage. That's pretty good damage as kind of a baseline. Her right mouse button is Pounce. It quickly dashes you forward, colliding with an enemy to perform a melee strike for 600 damage. Her Q is 9 lives, going along with the cat theme. Uh, it heals you for 500 health and resets the cooldown of Pounce and Prowl. So that will reset your right mouse button and, and your F, which we'll get to in a second. Her E, which is her ultimate ability, is Midnight. Enemies within 300 feet have their vision restricted to a 30 foot radius for four seconds. Um, I saw this ultimate in action on the uh, preview show on Friday and I can tell you it's nasty. And it's gonna be a pretty huge game changer for the meta especially. Her F is Prowl. Uh, she moves 80% faster and increases your jump height for four seconds. Firing your weapon or using another ability will also cancel it. So this kind of goes along with uh, I guess you could say the theme of all the champions in the game. Your F um, increases your movement speed, makes you move a little bit quicker. I'm not going to go over the details on the cards. You can kind of research and look that up yourself. Uh, personally, I'm really excited to play her. I'm going to play her as soon as I get done with this video. So there's a pretty good chance I'm going to be doing some more videos about loadouts for her, which cards work best for her abilities, and uh, what can beef her up even more than she already looks. All right, going into some general changes, um, there's some new PvE quests. Chat now automatically opens at match lobby. I'm going to say this again. Chat now automatically opens at match lobby. I can't tell you how frustrating it is when you type something in the match lobby um, while you're drafting to kind of communicate to your new teammates how it might be a better idea if you switch or how about we do this instead or can anybody play this and this and this and people don't see it because flat out the uh match lobby chat will not pop up when you enter the lobby um this is something that the community has been asking for for so long now. It sounds silly and it sounds minor, but it is such a huge deal because people, some people are just too lazy to click lobby. So I'm personally really happy that this is getting added. The rest of these changes are pretty minor improvements and a couple of bug fixes. As you can probably gather, Paladins is reaching a Valentine's event. So of course they've added some Valentine themed skins with their Valentine's Day chests. Uh, I won't really go over any of these, but I absolutely suggest you check them out. Some of them are adorable. One thing I think Paladins is severely lacking, and I think I've said this in previous videos, is skin diversity. Um, other than just changing the color type, having actual skin diversity. So adding these kind of adds on to it, so I'm really excited about that too. The test map queue is something that they added in OB42. So what they've done for this one is they removed the maps that they had on the previous patch and they added some new ones in. Uh, the test map queue is really cool to jump into because obviously you're testing out some new ideas for maps that the dev team is kind of rolling around. So being able to jump into those, they're obviously not complete. They don't have graphics on, you know, they don't have detailed graphics on it or anything. They're just kind of basic, very... Uh, square setup areas. So being able to test those are really cool. So um, it looks like they have removed the ones that were from the last patch and added some new ones. And now let's go to the champions balance and updates and stuff like that. As you probably remember from the last patch, aggression was removed, thank god. Um, and kind of because of that, they're reducing the damage of Haven from, from 10, 20, 30 to 7, 14, and 21%. I 
I kind of get why they're doing this because when aggression existed, if one player took aggression and the enemy took haven, then it both kind of equaled each other out and bumped each other out. So it was kind of like, what's the point? If someone takes aggression, it's really easy for their opponent to just take haven and then it just cancels out. And then it's kind of like, what the point? So reducing the damage reduction to uh, 7, 14, and 21% instead of 10, 20, and 30, it's kind of equaling itself out because that aggression ability uh, or item doesn't exist anymore. Going along with that, um, they're also reducing the damage reduction of blast shields uh, to 7, 14, and 21%. And as you can see, it says blast shields and haven provide too much of an easy option against many champions in the game. And with the removal of aggression doesn't provide the level of counterplay that we would like. So they're bringing down the value of both Blast Shields and Haven to kind of make up for the fact that aggression doesn't exist anymore. The other item changes are very minor, um, fixing bugs. A pretty decent change to Drogo's is um, Salvo, the explosion radius per rocket, is getting increased by 70%. Wow. Um, it reduces the time between rockets from 0.2 seconds to 0.15 seconds, and it increases the accuracy from 90% to 95%. Wow. In this statement, you can see that the devs say that Salvo is very underused, which is very true. Um, so kind of beefing it up a bit uh, hopefully will allow people to use it a lot more. Um, Increasing the accuracy from 90 to 95 percent is pretty huge, and the time between rockets um, that's going to make it a lot easier to use and a lot more sense to use because it will be doing a lot more damage with their increased accuracy. A lot of the rest of the champion changes are very minor, there were some cooldown reduction issues um, with Kness's oppressor mines. Uh, with Ruckus' Hex Hexafire, and with Torvald, of course, because he just got released on the previous patch, that um, there was, of course, going to be a little bit of issues with him, so they're kind of balancing out a lot of bugs. Really, those are the only major changes that we can see in this patch. Like I said earlier, I'm really, really excited to play Maeve. As soon as I get done editing this video, I'm going to jump on the PTS and play her. I'm really stoked for it. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for the patch notes for OB43. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. What do you like about the changes? How do you think Maeve is going to change the meta? Is she going to change the meta at all? Or do you think that she's just going to be a dumpster champion now in the game? What do you think about some of the other changes? Are you excited to have more skins? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That's going to do it for the patch notes for OB43. Thanks so much for joining me on this review and we'll see you next time.